Hello everybody, I'm Mannequin. Welcome to the stream. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. For those of you who are there, thanks for showing up. It has been an awful past few weeks. Well, I won't say awful because it hasn't been awful. It's been very fun. It's also been really, really, really busy and like running around everywhere. And that, you know, sometimes no matter how much fun you're having, sometimes when you have to like take care of like busy work and business and stuff, it, it starts to get to you. So for the... I know I'm starting a little bit late, but thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, we're playing some bug snacks. We're gonna see where our um, buggy adventure takes. I don't. I don't understand this game, man. <laughs> All right, let's play some bug snacks, guys. How's it going, Kiyoma? Thanks for coming by, even though I'm starting a little bit later today. Yeah, it has been, I won't say rough few weeks, but it has been a tiring few weeks. I've been running around everywhere. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's been a fun few weeks. It's just, you know, sometimes no matter how much fun you're having, you get tired, you know? <laughs> so I hope you're having a great day. Uh, there we go. There's the um, video for you guys. Yeah, let me turn on the music. I, I usually just turn off the music when I'm looking for bugs, so... Hey, Archeron! How you doing? I also realized that Strawby is in the middle. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until just now. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Alright, so... Oh yeah, um... Wambus may have eaten a few more <laughs> snacks while you guys were sure away. It's a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, so now he has a Dorito on his head. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wambus. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wambus should give you snacks. He literally is a snack. I mean, I mean. Take a look at that face. Oh my god, my boy Wambus is a snack, baby. <laughs> so Wambus wanted me to plant a Sherby here. All right, Wambus, what's up? I planted your snacks. You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. Come back tomorrow. We'll see if this bears fruit. Literally. Ha 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 ha. It's a terrible pun. His nose is a baked potato. Oh. Hello. You take care now. All right, we have lots of mail, so let's go check our mail. I also answer letter requests too. Oh hi. Hey buddy. I have your big bug snack. Uh, those sure are biggins. Well, no matter what the size, there's always room for more in my family. I'm sure they'll fit in just fine. All right, yeah, we donated giant bugs. I think we donated a um a banana. Oh no, we donated a uh what is it? A banana split. Also, by the way, one of the reasons why I'm so tired today is because they were doing work on the plumbing, and after they finished work on the plumbing, they didn't clean up. So then now I have, like, dirt everywhere that I need to clean up later. Ugh. Life is hard. Hey, you pal. Great work, pal. Now hand it over and watch me work. Oh, man, I am stuffed thanks to my friend here. I couldn't eat another snack. Guess I'll just throw away this delicious buffalo kiss. <laughs> Did you say buffalo kiss? Oh, hold on now, Cromdo. I'd be happy to take Confirmed. Care. Canadians love I buffalo don't do wings. Charity, Triff. Uh, what do you want for it? Well, I happen to be in a market for a treasure map. Never mind. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's the deal here? I'm not letting a crook like you get a hold of that map. You'll just swipe the bug snacks and sell them off. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, I, I... Canadians love maple syrup. Also true. Oh. Looks like Cromdo failed. Ha, 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 ha. Wait a second. He didn't pay me for the buffalo guest. Ah! <laughs> Uh, you're starving. What type of hey, snacks buddy. do you guys like? I got another surprise for you. Oh, let's go see your hut. I lifted your crib, dog. What the frick? You're really moving up in the world, huh? 
I was just thinking, you've gotten so many presents for the rest of us, you were probably running out of room. I even asked Chandlo for a third floor, but he said something about restricted airspace? Phil bro, as mayor of Snacksburg, you really ought to read up on our Zoda guy. How does Chandlo know this? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> In the meantime, buddy, I can't wait to see what you do with your new place. We have a second floor, baby! Especially after we send you even more stuff! <laughs> well, you guys were over here oh, talking about that, but... Nothing like getting toasty. You know what? Wait, maybe we can maybe we can get that cutscene again. Hold on. Uh, put to title. Let's see if we can get that cutscene again. Uh, continue. I guess the cutscene bugged out, but whatever. Welp, they came out of the ground all right. Guess I didn't bury them deep enough. Um. You can try again. What am I supposed to do if even I don't believe in me? I didn't come to this island to be free or to live off the land. I'm here because I couldn't make it over there. Deep down, I'm a failure. That's not true. You have a Dorito head. That's like the ultimate success. When I moved to Britain, my friend told me about Haribo. Haribo. And they're like the only good British things. Everything else is about Britain is uh, god awful. Um, as a certified British man, I completely agree with that. Um, Britain is honestly the worst place to live. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, you're not British? Well, as a certified Brit, um, I'll have you know that Britain is quite literally the worst place to live. <laughs> You're Japanese, you moved to Britain for whatever reason? I mean, there's plenty of, I'm sure there's some things to enjoy. Do you speak Japanese? Yeah, poor Wambus is being hard on himself. It's all right. I knew it all along. Well, I still got my sauce. It's not hey, bug Aki. snacks, but it's not nothing. Maybe I'm just stubborn enough to call that a win. Wambus, you're married to Triffany. That in itself is a win. You're married to Triffany! You are literally the ultimate winner! <laughs> As a British person, I feel qualified to say that Britain is truly... Uh, uh, truly... Truly... British. <laughs> Ooh. Yay, second floor! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Emergency bell. Ring, 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 ring. No? Oh, well. All right. It, it, it's more important to donate to our second. Oh, wait. Well, first we got to pick up stuff. Ooh, lots of mail. Right. Stranger, thanks for sticking with me even when I was doomed to fail. Maybe you'll have better luck growing a garden of your own. Ooh. Thanks for getting my bones back, eh? <laughs> I was admiring the view from up there when I slipped and slid right off. I hope you were enjoy you were on I hope while you were on top you also took a moment to enjoy the sights. Brilliant! You deciphered my coded language and fed an aggro to me. Snorpington Fizzlebean. Why did I want it? You're probably asking. Ah chop, I'm afraid that's classified. <laughs> um Aki asks, what's my favorite anime? Um well, um since you have confessed that uh, you are British, Aki. I have no choice but to talk to you like this from now on. Um, my favorite anime is an anime called Level E. Have you heard of it? Um, it's about aliens. Um, aliens and, well, it's about one particular alien who really likes to mess with people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great job, bestie. Though after you scanned this, I tried eating a frozen Stoodler and I almost chipped a tooth. I, ugh, if only that Stoodler was like just... If only I had a st Stoodler that was just right. Neat. Disappointingly compound bug snacks, tra bug snack transformations do not lead to spontaneous limb generation. Irrational, as I know it is to do so. I blame you. Hey, 
buddy? Buddy? I found another wet letter in the riverbank. At least it's not totally destroyed. I I'm sure you've got it handled. Sign. Flame and cheese proof. Opportunity. That's probably Krom, though. Hey. Okay. Salutations, bestie! <laughs> you are likely aware that Great Skeetos totes suction liquid from Freddy Bugsnack. Now, I'm curious if they would also do this to a noodler. Uh, you must scan this in the process. Wink emoji! Listen up, pal. Are you in the friend? Are you ready for the future, friend? Because I got a scheme that'll knock your socks off. Here's what you gotta do. Pick up a grumpus and give him sody limbs. One of each type ought to do it. Okay. Watch your step when climbing around, okay? I've seen you take a lot of falls, but there has to be a height that even you can't fall from. All right, well, we gotta go kill ourselves. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, the exterior. Bestie! Oh my god, we are such besties! <laughs> it looks so awful. I'm gonna go with my beech wood. We got the weather thing. I don't want rock climbing hoops. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we can direct here. Ooh! A <laughs> mini cactrophony! <laughs> uh. You don't really watch anime, you read manga? Watch the ghost stories dub. Isn't that dub notorious for being, like, at, not directed because, like, they didn't have enough money or something? <laughs> Can I put my bed up here? Hmm. Ah, uh, here. Science print. Ew, that's gross. No. Uh, since this is in the sky, we use the cloudy print. No, that looks bad. Um, uh, we'll put a our jersey right there. You know what? We'll put some sports stuff up here. Yeah, not bad. Uh, you know what, this should be a, ooh, hey, it's a nursery. Ooh, that's nice. Maybe we'll make this our like, we'll just make this like a storage area. So, uh, I love the bestie print though. Um, no, it looks disgusting. Uh, I mean, this is stylish, but it'll get dizzying very quickly. Uh, we'll just go with a cloudy, but cloudy, eh, it looks kind of gaudy. We're going with Bestie. <laughs> uh, cloudy. Eh, we'll go with Cloudy. Okay. Uh, over here. We'll put... Will this just be like storage? That's the cactus going there. We'll put... Oh, we'll put mini cactus here. Of course, right? We put the cactus with the cactus garden, obviously. Okay. Uh, uh, we can put the medicine cabinet here. And in here, we're gonna put the first aid kit. Ah, see, perfect, right? Uh, we need more stuff here, that's the problem. Okay, but I think it looks pretty good. Oh, 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 up here. Draped fabrics, test tube lights. I mean, it looks kind of stylish, but it doesn't really, uh, it, I would hit my head. Oh, here, stars, perfect. I got those from my bestie, um, Bethany, Be Befica. <laughs> I think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? They told the actors to do whatever they want. I see. Yes? All right, let's 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 check. Okay, so. Okay, nice. 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 And then we go up to the top. And then we have a second story. Yeah, it looks great. I like it. Boink. Ow. Boink. There's lots of lesbian people. <laughs> I see. Okay, so let's take a sleep in our bed. And then we have lots of stuff we need to do. Okay, two, five. All right, so first of all, where is Befica? Hey, Befica! Oh, no. Hey first, there. You. 
What does she want? All right, she wants to be fed a ghosty cheetle, cheetle, or a white cheetle, white cheese poop. Oh, teeth. Here it comes, the ballad of a generation. Bug snacks, bugs snacks on the island in my mouth. Ooh, so ooh, tasty. ooh, ooh! What else is in your mouth? That's, That's right, it's bug so snacks. Far. Uh, uh. Wait, That's a work wait, in progress. wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, what pause, pause. <laughs> Frick. Uh, don't, don't clip that. <laughs> uh, that was great. Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. Hey, there are plenty of one-hit wonders. Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. Hey, there are plenty of one-hit wonders. <laughs> You okay? Shelda is delightful, darling. The way she speaks is captivating. Even if I haven't the faintest idea what she's saying. Toodles! Ah. I, I think she's over it. <laughs> hey, bestie. That monster Grumpus thing is... Uh, here. Snap. Oh, no! She's becoming one of them! Oh, yeah. Snick bug. Her foot is a gummy bear! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pepica, no! Snick. Head, right horn, and teeth. Uh -huh. Pepica! Oh, God! What have I oh, done? Thanks, bestie. If nothing else, I can always rely on bug snacks. <laughs> Isn't it so sad that I call you my bestie? <laughs> I, like, barely know you. And if I did get to know you, you'd probably hate me for it. That's not true. I love you. <sighs> oh, well. Enjoy it while it lasts, Biffy. Bethika? I'm your bestie. Even with your gummy bear head. <laughs> okay, we need... <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna miss her hair. <laughs> Perfect <God>, no! <laughs> oh, she's wearing a cap ketchup packet on her head! Bunker! Okay. Bestie, I love you. Come on. That monster Grumpus thing is still on the loose. Be careful out there, Bestie. You know, it makes you realize how attracted people are to hair. Mm, don't miss me too much. Mwah. Rest in peace, Bethika. What do you want? Yeah. Business as usual. I try to play nice and fair, I get a door slammed in my face. Yeah, well, if Triffery thinks I'm a crook, I'll show her a crook. We're gonna steal that. Man. We? Meet me outside her hut. Midnight. No cops. We? All right, pal, here's the plan. I'll keep watching, turn away any looky loos while you sneak upstairs all quiet like and nab that map. Got it? Uh. Why do I have to do this? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd do it myself. Believe me, it's just that uh, I got this uh, this condition where I'm deathly allergic to uh, to jail time. Yeah, don't sweat it, pal. Really? You do great. Really? <sighs> hey, Mavica. I love you. 
I just snuck into a girl's house at midnight while she's sleeping and whispered in her ear, I love you. <laughs> That's not creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, frick. Oh, what was that? Cactus? Nope, nope. Go back to sleep, Wamby. Okay. Good night. Light on society. Look, I'm not a bad guy. When I got my bug snacks, I'll pay Triffany back way more than this is worth. Anyway, we're gonna have to wait a while for the heat to die down. Until then, zip 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 zip. Lip zip, got it? I have just com committed a crime. Oops. <laughs> Visit Gramble later. So far, we're doing really good on the, um... Bethica, my darling. Hi. I would never leave you, Bethica. Unless Triffany gets a divorce. But, but, that, that, but, but that's not happening, so I'll never leave you. Bye-bye. Let's see here. Grambles. All right now, Manny. I just follow the point. He named it Manny. Oh, wait, come back. Manny. But Natalie Steve. But Natalie Steve. <laughs> they left me. I guess that's just what family does. They're never around. Barely ever talk to you. Then one morning you wake up and they're gone without so much as saying goodbye. Oh. I thought bug snacks would be simple. They don't have it in them to be cruel. But the cruelest thing you can do is not care at all. Oh, maybe I should pay Wiggle a visit. Um, after I fix the fence. Is that why oh. he likes bug snacks? Because he feels like he's low. Oh, Gramble, I'm here for you. Gramble, oh, by the way. If you guys didn't see, oh, whoops. Uh, if you guys didn't see, uh, wait, hold on, hold on, here. Um, I have a bestie board <laughs> with um, Befica. This was back when she was normal and not a piece of food. Oh my God. You know how people keep saying women aren't pieces of meat? Can I turn Befica into a piece of meat? And then she'll literally be a piece of <laughs> Thanks for helping me build up my family. Even if they don't all appreciate it, I sure do. I guess that makes you part of the family too. I made you your very- Oh, you gave me a hat! My boy gave me a hat! He gave me a strawby hat! He gave me a hat to match his own! I love my boy Gramble! My boy Gramble! He's best boy! Uh, anyway, oh, mail. Right, okay, so what else? Uh, we still have some feed something to Snorpy. And then what about our mail quests? He needs sodies. He needs Grape Skeeto to suck up a noodler. I need a flaming cheese poof. 
and you need something that it flies around the desert but isn't sweet or meaty or any kind of cheese. I couldn't find that. And then this one, um, the top of the th the mountain. Okay. Uh, oh, we should just probably sleep for a bit. Uh, sleep, 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 sleep. Why don't I have any new beds? Why do all my beds suck? I literally am sleeping in a freaking pig freaking pen. No, not a pig pen. A dog, a dog bed. Oh, would that be moth pizza? I don't know. Is moth pizza meaty? Let's find out. Uh, no, it's meaty, unfortunately. I guess that makes sense. Uh, honestly, now that I look at moth pizza, kind of looks greasy. Like, with all that pepperoni. Ugh. What's going on? Oh, it's raining. Jeez, they don't even care about the rain. What's up, bro? What up, bro? Epica's smart, bro. Smarter than she lets on. She gets people, and that throws them off their game. I kind of like that about her. Uh, you'd love to have a bite? I have not eaten pizza for like two and a half months, and now you're making me want to eat pizza. God dang it! <laughs> Where's my boy Snorpy? Snorpy. Snorpers? Snorp, snorp. Snorpy. Oh, he hasn't woken up yet. Wake up! It's 5.30 in the morning! This is when all high schoolers are supposed to wake up! Huh. Hello. Okay, he wants a Scoopy Banoopy. Scoop. Oh. You know freaking Chadlow's gonna like this. <laughs> oh man, look at that whipped Delicious. cream! Thank you, chum, for feeding me that random bug snack for no reason. And while we're enjoying frivolous activities, I have another for you. Meet me out back. Mmm, now Chanlo has all that I'm whipped cream. Mmm, baby. From the Grumpinati. However, I have defenses prepared. Oh, well, almost prepared. I've set up flares around town. They should ward away any predator snacks looking to take action against us. What? What do I need to do? I'm so glad you asked. Did you know that my it can also oh. spread fires or spread waters, harness the elements of nature, if you will. With what? that in mind, you should be able to light the rest of my flares. <laughs> what? Get lit. He wants me to light the flares. What? Ah, oh, frick. What do you want me to do? Uh, has placed flares around town that will ward off the bug snacks. And we have to repair the fence. Oh, by the way, I caught Mama Mama we uh, Melon. But Mama Melon is uh, just a slice of Mama Melon because we broke her up. And then here are her Wee Melons. Oh, yeah, we should just put in all the Wee Melons. Snack all right, I call this... Mama Melon. I call this a mom and her annoying brats. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, is that a flare? Oh, bro, you're gonna burn down Snacksburg with those things. What? Why are you lighting all this stuff up? Um, uh, th th it has nothing to do with Snorpy. Bro, I saw Snorpy set these up. If you don't want to tell me what he's up to, I'll respect that. But don't treat me like I'm stupid. Oh guys. God. He thinks Snorpy is cheating on him with me! No, I'm with Bepica! No, 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 you have it all wrong! I'm with Bepica! No, Jello! Jello, Jello, I promise he's not, he's not cheating on you! No, no, Jello, please, no! I've just broken them up. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! No, don't be bad. I didn't mean it. Let's see here. There's light over here. There must be a fire. Ah, right here. Okay, let's do this. Trip shot. I'm 
so sorry! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm just murdering people now. I caused the potential ship to fail. I'm so sorry! I didn't mean it! There we go. Hmm. Two. Where's the next one? Maybe over to the campfire? Put it there. How about there? Uh, we lit that. Now, where are the rest of them? Okay, good. Three. Alright, alright, so far so good. Hmm. Where are the rest of them? Let's get a higher vantage point. Ah, up there. Wait, he set it up up there? Why? Okay. Two, four. Ah, oh, there's one over there. Excuse me, excuse me. Five. That's on top of Philbo's house. Hmm, where are the last two? Yeah, we still need to bring Floofty back. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm so sorry! Okay, help me, help me look for some more flares, guys. Where are the remaining flares, buddy? Apparently, he doesn't want to help me. Flares? Flares? Flares, 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 flares. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, I see the last one's over there as well. Okay, so we'll go here. Six. And then the last one we have to go around because the fence is in the way. Bam, baby. All right. We got the flares ready, buddy. Also, these wee melons are on fire. Swap them out. Oh, God! Everyone's on fire! Those Excellent. flares. We are protected for the time being. Um, Chandler's asking questions. Yes, he does that sometimes. He's adorably inquisitive. You let me worry about that. I'm very used to worrying. For now, ease your mind. I'll let you know if any more trouble arises. I like how he gets all bashful when talking about Chandler. He's like, oh, he's very, he's very nerd. <laughs> They're dead. They're literally dead. They can't, I can't put them out. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Arcane? All right, let's do a quick nappy nap. Well, looks like it's raining. Where's my where's my girlfriend? Oh, looks like she needs to go to bed. I'll wait out here. Oh darn! I should have gone in with. I mean, uh, what? <laughs> what? <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Anything I can take as a souvenir. What? 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 Uh, uh, what? N nothing. All right, let's see here. Okay, looks like we got all the side quests done. What happened to Gramble? He needs to fix his uh, tent. Or not his tent, his fence. 
Allergies beating you down. You just got your homework done. How's my day been? I it's been a retiring few weeks. That's for sure. I've been running around. Uh, it has not been easy, but it's been fun because I've gotten to do some fun stuff. Where's Gramble? Gramble. Oh, Kokino, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kokudo, for the 10 pool. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you thought of me, really. I'm so glad you thought of me and came back and, you know, just to hang out and have some fun. <clears throat> and I hope you're having a great... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm a big strong man now. Yeah, but thanks so much for hanging out with us today and spending time and, you know, just yeah, watching me be a goofball. <laughs> Did you just get back from uh, Spring Break, Arcane You ever notice how the real big bug snacks break up into little ones? I've been wondering why that is. Uh, I thought maybe Do he the had little something. ones stick together to make big ones? Can I teach him to do that? Uh, I thought now. I thought maybe he had more side quests, but guess not. Oh, wait. Well, let's do some main quests now. Wait. Okay. Well, we can do um, these ones on the side because... Hey, Wrecker. Welcome back. Okay. So we got to head, first of all, to the beach. To the boiling bay. To the this spot. <clears throat> Spring break's been over. Finals are right around the corner. You know, that's one thing I never liked about the semester system is that you have finals and like whether or not it's like your um, winter finals or your spring finals, like right after your break when you've like taken like relaxation time and you haven't been studying that much. Like that, that's something that's always like, that's, that's something that always annoyed me. All right. Which is why, that that's one of the reasons why I like the quarter system is because you have finals and then you have winter break. Or you have uh, finals and then you have spring break. Thank you so much, uh, Kogito. All right, so you want Cocoa Mites. Uh, we'll just go here. Yum, yum, yum. Wait, hold on. Okay, Co greater cocoa mites will be hands, and lesser cocoa mites will be feet. Unbelievable. Intriguing. There we go. Hmm. My body has changed into more cocoa mites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend <clears throat> what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change to any other with the right stimulus. What? And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Bonabra, and Stravi all at once. What? <sighs> Fine. Noodler and Bonopper. Okay, we need a Noodler and we need Bonopper. I wish she wants a red banopper. This might have to stop uh, the banopper. Come on, banopper. Come on, banopper. Oh, Kokido! I need to catch this first. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> Kokido. <laughs> For... <laughs> God dang it. Do you have any quests for me? You know, it's been a while since you guys have even been here, so it's just... You know, thanks for... Thanks for thinking of me and thanks for hanging out. <laughs> because, you know, 
Like, you know, it's always, there's, there's some, I don't know what, what I'm trying to say. There's always some, something that's really comforting knowing that, you know, that, uh, that, 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 like, you guys enjoy, like, spending time with, with me and just, you know, like, having fun and even if, even if it's kind of, like, even if, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. I'm all choked up, but thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I'm trying to run away from this stupid popsicle while talking, and I'm all choked up right now. I don't... <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Kokino. I, I'm really... No, it, it's like I'm really grateful to know that... Uh, Y'all enjoy spending time with me and hanging out and just being silly together. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what were we doing? I have a hypothesis that the substance leaking out of the volcano is not lava, but rather a superheated fondue. What? Unfortunately, my studies had to be put on hold when my sampling equipment melted. Yo, it's freaking cheese. The lava is freaking cheese. Hell yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. All right, so we need a noodler. Noodle. Noodle. Noodler, noodler. The moon is cheese, the lava is cheese, everything. <laughs> Don't cry about it. I'm not. No, but really, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, and yeah, please. Yeah, please, d d just know that. <laughs> like, I'm really grateful that you guys just enjoy hanging out and having fun with me. <laughs> so, thank you so much. But please, don't don't worry about <laughs> donating anymore. Yeah, please don't worry about donating anymore. Just, <laughs> just hang out and have fun. <laughs> thank you so much, Kokido. Um, Arcane says, the moon is cheese, the lava, everything is cheese. Do you guys like cheese? I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to be careful about how much cheese I eat, but, like, I freaking love cheese, even though it's, like, 90% fat. <laughs> Kioma says, yes, yeah, see? See? The problem is cheese tastes so good, even though I can't really eat that much. <laughs> then again, there's some, like, cheese that's not so great. You know, like, cheap cheese isn't great. I'm trying to see if I can get the noodlers to come after the paletos. Ah, he loves, they love cheese sauce and hot sauce. Oh, since we were talking about cheese, here. Right, this Politas is an idiot. Alright, that's not working. Okay, let's see here. How do we catch Noodler? How do we catch the noodler? I, I've caught in it. I've caught it before, so I should be able to catch it again. Maybe I should try to draw the noodlers out. Wait, why does ramen like cheese? It, that's an interesting question. This way, noodler. 
Here, these guys are territorial. Yeah, got him. Got it, okay. Use cheese on the ground. Well, I use cheese on the strawberry, which is kind of the same thing. Well, my strawberry wheel thing. All right, here, have a noodler. Have a noodle on your noodle. Right it's a chopstick. <laughs> I have learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. What the? F Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there how a is she holding the Christmas board? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Oh God! Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. This is bringing back 999 memories. <laughs> hmm. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. Do you mean experiment in Snacksburg? <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Oh God, nine, 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 it's all coming back. <laughs> if the socks are repaired, but then ripped again, are they still socks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone say, Alice, no, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> We brought back the mad scientist. All right, more mail. As you are aware, I have returned to Snacksburg with your assistance. Since I've since been cajoled into rewarding your efforts with a welcome gift. You may have this plant that I found. <laughs> I will plant it. Let's plant the plant. Hey, it looks pretty good. Hello. One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. Ooh. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure <coughs> if it's real. But I must go after it. All right. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Sure. We brought back a mad scientist. Um, if everyone dies, it's not my fault. Ice not- Get out! Get out! No, no, none of that. Ice is actually perfectly fine in 90 degree temperature because it doesn't melt because it's ice night. Ah! Fabulous. Let's jam. <laughs> Saying, man, it was nice since all ice. Ah, no, no, it didn't happen. That freaking ending, by the way, the freaking ending of 999, where Alice was freaking there hitchhiking. No, 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 no. <laughs> My critics all right, you know. I can't make the magic happen again. I've tried skydiving, crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. <coughs> Bug snacks are the only thing that have ever gotten me close to that state again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. I just haven't found it yet. But I will. I must. It's that or I'm finished. Okay, so now what? Catch a Mega Maki? Is that like a Megalodon? There's a sequel, I know, and I have to play it eventually, but I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, we gotta catch a Megalodon. Oh look, a coconut. Careful of the Politos. Leave me alone. Oh, 
Leave me alone. Wreck. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Our past year. Do you have any quests for me? No, please don't start a donate war, guys. Just, just have fun. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wrecker. I hear a crapple in the background. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Has it been that long? I don't even remember when some of you guys joined. You guys are just kind of like part of the channel as well now. So <laughs> it's like I just kind of like remember that you guys are just hang out and like who I like enjoy hanging out with. So thank you so much for being here. <sighs> Another empty venue. And if you are out there. You won't be able to resist my siren song. What the? Oh, please. Ancient black snack. Can you hear me? Will you show oh. yourself? <laughs> if you hear how much I need. No, no donation war, please. Just thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I don't think the bug snacks can understand you. Oh, don't give me that. Music is a universal language, darling. You delectable oh dragon. my god, it's Come, a sushi! Let me make some music! It's sushi! It's sushi! He's shooting Row! Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can use a trip shot. Dang it! Deploy the trip shot! Come at me! Go, 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 go! Go get the mini monkeys! Mini monkey. Mini monkey. <laughs> Mini Mackey. Oh god, he's reforming! Look out for the fish eggs! Okay. Look out, look out! Oh god, the fish eggs bounce! Okay, go, 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 go. Put it right here. 
How about that? No. Dang it! Okay. We need to figure out how to catch him. Deploy the trip shot! Here, how about if I deploy it right here? No. How about there? Come on, Mega Maki. Come on, Ma Mega Maki, come at me! Come on, Mega Maki, I'm over here! Oh, right here, right here, okay. Let's retrieve it. Oh, God, look out! You promise you'll be back. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but no, please don't have a war on my behalf. I don't want to have cost a war. <laughs> Just hang out and have fun. That's all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, it's not high enough. That should do. Are these like I love how they have like boss fights in this game. I don't know understand how the heck it works, but What the where's my trap? Did he knock down my trap? Frick he knocked down my trap! Oh here, here, here is a good place to place a trap. What's with all the donations? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Celestial. Hello, Celestial. How are you doing? I hope you're having a nice day. I have not been crying. I'm a big, strong man. I don't cry. <laughs> um. Oh, frick! Not enough. Oh, he goes down here. Okay. No! Here. The donations have a the donation these donations have a very deep lore. All right, we need to stay away from here so that they, he doesn't destroy our trap. Come on. Come on, come on. You're doing great. You're feeling apprehensive. Everything okay? Go, 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 go. Get out there, go, 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 grab it. Come back. Mini Maki. Dang it! I only got two. There's still a few left. Uh, anything interesting going on uh, tomorrow? Right here. Go. You know, it would be nice if you helped out, but you're not doing that, are you? Mini 
Go, 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 go. Wait, where'd the mini maki go? What the heck? Oh! It fell through the floor! It's clipping through the floor! Where'd it go? Oh, there. Our pretty boy Leon S. Kennedy. Ah, good times. My boy. No, our boy. I'm sorry. Our boy. <laughs> right? The only person we regret ever meeting was Ashley. <laughs> A test is happening. What type of test? Last one! Yeah, boy! Easy! We got an avocado roll, baby! Look at look at all these little guys! Look at the mini monkey! Mini, mini monkey! Mini! Look at look at look at look at look They have the sh little shrimp tempura right there and little avocado on top and big boys right there. Alright. Talk about bombing on stage. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let's get this show on the road. All right, here we go. Ta -ta. All right, so let's feed her. Mini Mac. Mm -hmm. Mini Mac. She only has a left horn. She doesn't have a right horn. <sighs> Mini oh, there. Mm -hmm. We'll put a pallet toss there. All right, and now... Mega, Mega Maki! <laughs> uh, thanks for stopping by, Kokido and Wrecker. <laughs> Hope to see you guys soon. <clears throat> Ready? Three, two, one, BAM! Dang! Now she uh -huh. looks like a star! <gasps> Nothing. My head is just full of snacks. Oh, I'm never gonna be free of it. Free of what? Do the wiggle. It's such a vapid waste of a song. To think that will be my legacy. But Cromdo <sighs> loves it. Why can't I make it happen one more time? Why can't the universe give me one more hit? Because that's how the Pareto distribution works. Dang, she's looking good in that. Like, look at that. She has like a little jacket of avocado in the back. God dang, girl. <laughs> what 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 are what are the subjects on the exam, Celestial? All right. Well, we did it, kinda. Sorta, maybe. Oh, we still have a. We still need to look for some snack pods. Hey, Sodi. Snack pods? Snack pods? Snack pods? They must be behind the trees or some. Oh, never mind. He's right there. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Back to Snacksburg. English math science. Oh, so it's like just like a super standardized test. Is it like a government style test? Like uh, it's not not a government style test. Is it like a test by by like the country by the government? Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? From the heart, oh, Gramble, you sweet summer child. Now we have That's AI. I, <laughs> I was a star. I'll <clears> never <throat> platinum that way. Why does that matter? You're already rich and famous. 
Because I need an audience. Just use AI. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. Oh, nice Gramble. You know, sometimes all you need is just one person to listen to your song. And Gramble will be that person for you, Wiggle, because God knows I don't want to. <laughs> what type of tests do the government do? So, um, in the United States, we have lots of standardized tests where, um, where kind of like the government gives exams to kind of like evaluate general education, that type of thing. Americans out there, I, I, I'm, I, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not just making this up, right? <laughs> You're the real star around here. My career may be over, but there's still time for an encore. Ooh, hey, she gave me a record player. I'll put it up top. Awesome. So while I'm working on my plants. Bam. Oh, wait. I can also put the strawby hat there. I'm sorry, Gramble's more important. I'm de I'm not making it up, I'm telling you! See, Kioma knows! Yeah, lots of different governments have, um, have, um, standardized tests. Maybe not in the UK, though. Or, mm, I, don't, I don't know in Europe if they have standardized tests or not. What? Hey, Flifty. Have an interview? I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. I'm only after the tr Oh, I want to hear from the smartest grump in town. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. Let's go. You had lots of state tests? Who are you? I am <clears throat> Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. Gastroentomologist. <laughs> that is such a I hate that it, that's such like a made up piece of crap and yet it's so fitting gastroentomologist <laughs> she's a person who studies insects for the sake of diet <laughs> I love that in baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. Can I punch her? To study bug snacks, obviously. But you didn't know what bug snacks were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Is that what turning into snacks does? Snackification? What type of tests do you guys remember? Like, the ones I remember, although... I suppose they aren't really government tests. I definitely remember all my AP class tests. Those were awful. The AP tests, like, you just sit there for, like, three hours, and you're just, like, in, like, a room with a whole bunch of people, and they're just taking the test. SATs, I guess that's not, um... 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 Uh, necessarily government either. But I know there were some, like, I remember in 10th grade, we had to take a, a standardized test in order to um, graduate for high school. And that was considered a, um, and that was considered part of the, um, the, 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 the government definitely um, produced that test. And it was very easy. So it made me realize that you don't need to be very smart to get your high school to pull. <laughs> No offense to no offense to people with high school diplomas, but um, yeah, the the stuff they test for like to graduate high school is not. It, it's like elementary school math. It's like your times tables, which so I was a little bit shocked to be honest. Love me some AP exams. Your calculator almost died on your calc. B oh man, good thing you made it, huh? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. You're clearly not a researcher. Researchers love talking about their opinions and how right they are. <laughs> Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists <coughs> instead churn out slander about my 
dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Well, maybe it's because you're trying to publish pop science. I will tell you this, guys. You know, a lot of the times um, in the movies, um, they paint this picture of researchers versus journalists. Like, researchers publish this thing, and then the journalists get their hands on it, and then they criticize the method, or they interpret it like the end of the world or something like that. Let me tell you, 99.99% like .99 of research never gets seen by the general public at all. Like, it kind of just doesn't even exist. It's like, almost all my research, it might as well not exist, because it's just, it's too... It's too in-depth for, like, um, for, like, for, it's like this. Good research will be far too in-depth to, for, like, a general public to listen to. Because, you know, I spent, like, six, seven, eight years trying to understand this type of research, right? So, of course, it's not, it's not, it's, uh, the general public's not gonna understand it. It's not like saying I'm, like, particularly smart. It's just I've spent seven years trying to work on this. And so, you know, the people in the field understand it, but there's no way the general public's gonna understand it. So when journalists are criticizing some scientific method or some scientific research, you know that those studies, in general, are kind of more popular science. They're written specifically to be eye-catching and um like like um like mind-blowing but they're not really real research it's i mean i'm not gonna say it's not real research i'm gonna say it's more like it's more designed to serve a function of sensationalism than it is to actually develop research so if you ever see like journalists writing like oh but this research demonstrated this is like you know like yeah that just ignore that because like that research study probably is generally meaningless to actual research. So a little bit of a um, um, insider um, info on how you should approach research. What? Arcane says, what? You don't understand how to use finite approximations to determine vibrational frequencies in large systems of atoms? My god, what are you like, stupid? <laughs> Why'd you leave town? I simply wanted to continue my work, Agabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Is it true that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. What? What? Why is there a severed leg in your hut? Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? That is not an answer! Me info on Elizabeth. The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. <laughs> what about Egabel? Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. <sighs> Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. And what happened? Ultimately, Egabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Death? Yes. I have the password to Egabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. That's a key, You've not a password. Enough of my time now. Leave. Can I kill her? Can I can I murder you? No. <laughs> no says Kioma. Ha. <laughs> you think a no can stop me? Okay, let's see. So we've gotten a few more clues, huh? Now we have this key here. Seems to go with some mysterious box. Right, we need to go catch up with Egabel soon. Ow. Okay, but first. Okay. Oh, Cromdo does crime. Triffany. Oh, Triffany. Doesn't look like Triffany. Oh, Triffany needs something. Yay, I get to hang out with my girlfriend. 
Right, I should I shouldn't wake her up in the morning. Oh, I hear her camera. Sweetie, darling, don't call me sweetie. I'm your bestie. I need to talk to you. Stop emptying your bladder. I need to speak to you. Ah! Rondo, how are you today? You want something? Speak to Cromdo. <laughs> Ready to get rich? <laughs> Hope you got your sunglasses, pal, because we're heading to the sizzling sands. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can smell it. This is going to be the big one. My ticket out of this dump. Oh, are we going after Moth? I'm going to have to work another day in sales for the rest of my life. I'm gonna use the cash to open a little karaoke bar where I can serve fancy drinks oh. and sing as loud as la, I want. La, wait, wait, not all to bug snacks. Oh, and uh, you, of course. Shut up, Cromdo. Oh, okay. I haven't caught this one yet. There's a black la, lolly. La, 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 nope. Also, there's this thing right here. I've been trying to figure out how to break into it, but I was thinking maybe I need to burn it instead. So we got this guy here. So let's see. Oh, he likes, of course, the buffalo wings like ranch dressing. Of course. Maybe he'll help me out. Maybe I can burn it. No, 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 no. Hey, I'll take it. Ooh, yeah. All right, so now we're in. I don't know what this is, though. Choc oh, there's chocolate over there. Choco. Oh, I hear a strawberry. No, not a strawby, a raspy. I love how I'm just procrastinating while um, Cromdo's waiting there. Oh, oh, hey, 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 another one I didn't see. A unique raspy. It will need help escaping the underground. In Chirito. All right, easy. Black Raspy. Raspy. Why right, now I have to figure out how to get out of here? Wait, why is the black raspberry? What is this? What the frick? We got a meaty snack pot. Cromdo's just waiting for me. He's like, "Where'd he go?" Two are over there. Huh. Interesting. And this will take us back out to the front, huh? Oh, interesting. Kind of cool. Random question. If food gets digested after going to the stomach, then what is it called after liquid goes to the kidneys? I don't... If food gets digested after going into the stomach, then what is it called after liquid goes to the kidneys. Uh, what do you mean after liquid goes to the kidneys? What is it called after liquid goes to the kidneys? Well, food, like the liquid gets absorbed and then it goes to the kidneys. Uh, absorbed. Um, and then, when, where, where does it get absorbed to the kidneys? Is that the small intestine? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. Is it just? I guess it's just. Pre-poop? I don't know. <laughs> it's called pre-poop, I guess. <laughs> oh, we should try to catch this olive. Nah, we can do it later. Hey, 
Check it out. An old timey casket. Wonder if there's treasure in there. It, it, got it, got it, got it. Don't cut it. Eh, yeah, whatever. On to the real price. Wait, 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 should we should we not try to open it? It's a sarcophagus. Perhaps it needs to be cut open. Is there something that can cut around here? I don't know. Do I have anything that can cut? No, I don't. Maybe we can get one of the snacks to do it. This is the place. Looks like we gotta do something to call the bug snack. Oh out. no. Should be a switch right about. Da, 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 da. No, no! Ah, yeah. Uh-oh. Is he calling the pizza moth? Whoa, that is something, all right. But it looks like we still gotta blow this thing open. See if there's anything good and explosive around here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What the heck is that? Oh, 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 here's... Oh. Is that a giant pizza slicer? That's a pizza slicer! When uh, it gets filtered, it gets homogenized. The liquid equivalent of digestion is to... Har I'm not sure. Oh, oh, you were talking about what is the action called. I thought you were talking about what is the result. The result is poop. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know what the, the name of the action is called. What is that? Wait, is this a pizza roll? Bombino! Bombino! Have a nice day. Wait, now what? Now this? Ooh. There it is! My piece of the pie! Come on down here, you muddy angel! Oh, here he comes! Oh, God! Oh! Ah, he's dead. All right, all right. We need we need the bombinos. Hey, bombinos, get over here. Yeah, I think we need to shoot the bombinos at the Matha. myself on it. Hiya! Oh, didn't work. Dang it. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. They're pizza cutters. There are four pizza cutters. Okay, right. there are four pizza cutters over there. And we have to knock him down so we can cut his pizza. These are pizza packets, right? Go, 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 go. Fire! Dang it. Didn't work. Get ready, get ready. Dang it! He moved. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, get 
ready, get ready. Wait for him to move, wait for him to move. Oh, wait. These are pizza, what are they, these called? Like, pizza, pizza... Like, quickly, quickly, quickly! Cut the pizza! <laughs> oh, that one's broken now. Okay, I see. Is, is, um, Arcane Bolt, is he as old as me? He's at least 20 years older. He's like an old, like an old man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> A lot younger? No, 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 no. I'm... He... Like, Arcane is old, man. Like, he's like old. <laughs> I'm like five at, at oldest. Oh, what the... Alright. What's he doing now? What the frick was that? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Fire! Come on, come on. Oh, dang it! He's protecting himself with the tornado! Oh, that works. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, dang it, I missed. All right, we'll grab this packet. Get ready. Dang it! Hmm. Maybe I have to aim lower so that the, it gets flown into him now. Yeah, we'll aim lower. That packet looks like a- Yeah, it's a hot pocket! That's what it is! Yeah, hot pocket! That's exactly what it is! I actually believed you when he said it was very- No, no, uh, uh, Arcane is- Arcane's not as old as I am. Uh, Arcane is the youngest person in, like, the universe, actually. Got him! Cut him open! Yeah, baby! Oh, and now I'm on fire. Alright, so we got the Mothma. Where, where'd Cromdo go? Oh, there he is. I love that. The pizza shoots hot pockets. I'll be coughing up sand for a week. But with those new bug snacks, I can just buy new lungs. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's eat, buddy. Okay, so... Take the meaty... Right leg. Snake ball. Take the meaty. Left leg. Bombino. Corn. Hot pockets. Bombino. Left. Fruity snack pod. And go on the teeth. Rasby can be the nose. I need one more. I don't want to use Maki's for this next one. 
Over here, guys. Over here. Over here, over here. How do I catch him? Do you guys like your Hot Pocket Soggy? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see, what else can we catch around here? Oh, we'll give him a Spuddy. Hey, Spuddy. Over here, guys. That's right. The spuddies are territorial. You like your hot pockets empty. <laughs> Got it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Spuddy. All right, and finally, now for Cromdo. Here you go. Uh, spuddy. Spuddy on the head. Oh, we got some whipped cream. Not the whipped cream, uh, sour cream on the head. Do you guys like pizza and sour cream? I don't know if that's a thing. You like your Hot Pockets with pepperoni? I've never actually had Hot Pockets. Fun fact. <laughs> oh my, oh God! Nice work, pal. Let's go home and we'll count up the spoils. He's a pizza! <laughs> He looks so greasy! I guess that's fitting, because he's a greasy salesman. Oh, God. You'd love to have a bite of pizza? You mean a bite of him? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, the science peeps. Befica, to what do I owe the dishonor? Cut the grump, Cromdo. You're gonna give me a piece of that pie. <laughs> <laughs> and why would I do that? Maybe you're feeling generous. Or maybe you don't want Wambus to see all these pictures of you stealing Triffany's stuff. Oh! You sneaky little grump! You give me those pictures right now, or I'll- Hands off my oh, girlfriend! Wambus. All right, all right, all right, all right, shh, 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 You win. Take him, Beth. Hand yours over, pal. Oh, no need. I'd never sell up my bestie. <laughs> she loves me! Yeah! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oonk, 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 oonk. That's right, she's my bestie. Uh, I love that girl. Let me see, Motha Supreme. Ugh, that looks bad. Uh, we can just do a Bombino on the top. <laughs> Cheese poof? No. Uh, I do want to get rid of the the this is blackberry nose that just looks. Oh my god! Now he looks like a monster. The engineer and the scientist having tension. <laughs> this is your just desserts, boy. Desserts? Hey, you don't get it, pal. It doesn't matter if I'm honest or dishonest. Either way, I lose out in the end. So then just be honest. Think I like being a scumbag, a grifter, a hustler. It's all miserable. So I do, so do something else. You think I haven't tried, huh? I gave honest living enough chances, but I wasn't born rich, and that means I can't afford to be happy. So unless you're gonna buy something, get lost, pal. Oh, come on, buddy. <sighs> Sounds like he's just struggling to get by. He sounds kind of like Swank. Who? Scientists and engineers get along. Just ask Mana. Yeah, you know me. 
I, I've collabed with um, psychologists and educational scientists, and I've collabed with engineers and uh, AI machine learning coding guys. And let me tell you, they get along swimmingly. No, they hate each other. Because the scientists always are like, we should do this. And the engineers are all like, yeah, in theory, but that's not going to work. And so they just start bickering and bickering and arguing. Um, yeah, that, that's essentially what happens because the scientists, especially like educational scientists, which is what I worked on, they want the engineers to implement this and try that and do this. And then the engineers are like, yeah, but practically that's impossible to do. So, yeah. That's why they don't get along. Hey, bestie. Hey, look, she has some of her hair back. She has her pigtail back. <laughs> well, pal, even if our scheme went south, you still held up your end. I may be a liar and a cheat, but I play for my dues. Unfortunately, all I've got left is a crummy old boombox. So just take it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I missed the chance to talk to Floofy and Yellow Lad. We'll talk to them later. Oh, hello. What are you up ah, to? You're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. What? Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off. Head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. This doesn't seem safe. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's <laughs> volunteering. I can find more volunteer. <laughs> I can find you people to cut up to kill. Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> oh, Philbo! <laughs> Not Philbo. Philbo's our good boy. Around noon, Befika always goes to the bathroom. It's like clockwork. Oh, 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 here it is. Science and engineer. Floofy. Snorpington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpy naughty scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You wasted brother! a talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try oh! to the issue. <laughs> I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. Oh! Oh, damn! Floofy! Floofy! That was not cool! But then again, damn! She cooking! <laughs> Damn, Floofy, that wasn't cool at all. <laughs> when you're arguing, you can't bring up love life. That's like that's like there, cheating. Kondo. What are you looking at? All right, so let's let's just donate all our sushi. Goodbye, sushi. You okay, buddy? Hey, if you need help with the green meathead, I'm here. Will you help? Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. Hey, Bafika. Ooh. You're looking cute. Hmm. What? Did she? Did, did, that's the that's the severed leg. What the? Oh, she, she she put it in a jar. Snoopin' time again. Hey, bestie. Now that Snorpy and Chandlo are back, it's Toad's snooping time. Oh. You never got any dirt on Chandlo. Let go. He's gotta have some deep, dark secret, but whatever it is, he's too good at hiding it. If anybody can find their way through that buff facade, it's you, bestie. <laughs> I got you, girl. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Hello, darling. 
Uh, find out what Chanlo does at midnight. Oh, you want to help with the experiment? Why? Is Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL JK, but seriously, no. <laughs> she just LOL JK unironically. Girl. Girl. You my girl, but don't make me dump you. <laughs> fun to gap with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Don't you know. <laughs> Bilbo! That's my kind of girl, LOL, JK. Get out. Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. What? How is that relevant? <sighs> Uh, hey, Chadlo, you want to help with an experiment? After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro. Oh, he's actually more concerned about his others than about yeah. his own safety. <gasps> Chadlo's the, the real champion here. Chadlo is like... Yeah. <gasps> he spends all day working out to protect others. Yeah. He cares about people more than he cares about himself. <gasps> What a yeah. guy. I like Chad Lowe. You wanna get your head cut off? No. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> look at him hanging out with his sushi rolls. God, they actually looked pretty good. If they weren't alive if they weren't alive and had these rice legs. <laughs> hey Ramble. No, 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 no thanks. That floofty shows up in my nightmares, always watching me. Oh. Nope. Is that it? Okay. Seven out of eight. There's one more. Oh, right. We haven't asked Philbo yet. Where is Philbo? There he is. Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofty said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. <laughs> I love how everyone rejects uh, Floofty, except Philbo. Philbo gets rejected by Floofty. <laughs> well, rip and piece your experiment. Hello. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Does it bother you? Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. They don't want to die. I have died. failed time and again to change their minds. The burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Why is that? Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Well, rest in peace, Floofy. Is Chad Chadlo is 100% grade A Chad. All right. So, next, we got to go figure out what Chadlo's secret is just to prove how Chad he is. About being Chandlo, what you see is what you get. I got nothing to hide. No shame. You checking out this beef, bro? I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. He just poses and flexes. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> At night, he just poses and flexes because he can. What a freaking Chad. He literally has no secrets. <laughs> hey, I found out his secret. He's a boss. Oh, frick. At 12, she always goes to the bathroom. He always got to wait. Hey, I'm checking out your beef, bro. 
Catch you later. Okay. She wants sweets. She wants lots of sweets, so. You think wee melons will work? Chanlo has no secrets. What? Shut up! Nobody is free of dirt. The more innocent somebody looks, the nastier the secret. Trust me. I have an idea. We're going to go through Snorpy. Nobody knows Chandlo likes Snorpy. Hey, bestie! I need you to turn me into green bug snacks. I'll tell you why later. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Befica's a beautiful... <laughs> um... Shape? I don't know. What do you call it when you turn into food? <laughs> Evening. Um. How are you today? Torso. Yes. <laughs> Rest in peace, her torso. That's good. <laughs> All right. So first, snackification. <laughs> Get out of here with your science. Okay, we need some. All right, we need. Turn Befica's arms into green snacks. Okay, she wants green snacks. Um, and she wants fruity snacks. Okay, let's see the wee melons. We only need one green thing, and then we can use the snacka snacka snack thing. Scorpeno. Crapple? Uh, let's see. How do we make Befica super buff to look like um to look like Chandlo? Uh, Scorpeno, but that one's not very filling. Mini Maki, no. Crapple, maybe. We can catch Mama Melon. You like Floofty? <laughs> Intrap, maybe. Oh, I know. If you're if you're green, if you are. Super buff, your muscles look like super round, right? Like when you flex. So we'll give her olives. So it'll look like she's flexing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and next we need some fruity snacks. All right, we need to catch a lolive. Oh, Pinangelo would be pretty good. Uh, or we can do Tropica Bug. Mm. Holy ramen is 50,000 calories. Mm. Mm. Okay, which one is fruity and filling? Fruity and filling, huh? Well, what about the fruit snacks? Aren't, don't we have fruit snacks? Here, yeah, 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 fruit snacks. Yeah, that's super fruity and super filling, so we need to find some fruit snacks. Okay, so first let's head back to Boiling Bay. Floofty and Snorpy are basically inverted colors to each other. Yellow and... Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. You can't eat most fruit snacks? How come? Oh, look, you got Maki's just hanging out now. Ow, a jerk. Yo.
That guy is that guy wearing a hat? Mini. Mini. Excuse me, buddy. Mini. 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 Leave me alone, Maki Roll! Maki roll, leave me alone. Gotcha. Give me the hat. Crapple. Yeah, new new snack hat. Okay, so we need to find the what were we looking for? Fruit snacks, right? Fruit snack. Fruit snack. Fruit snack. Fruit snack. It's usually stuck on a tree or something. Uh, hold on, let me check, let me check. Maki roll. No, no, no Danganronpa references. <laughs> oh, maybe behind the tree here? Check inside the volcano. All right, how about here? There's got to be some inside the volcano, right? Ah, oh, here's one. Got it. Okay, we'll look for one more. We we need to find at least one more. But I can always look for another one on my own time. We don't necessarily need it. Alright, well, that's okay, but... Okay, so let's go get an olive. To make Bethical super swole. Sandal be sandal, sandal be. Alright, uh, here. There we go. Frick. I'm waiting for a chance to fire Pinkle at. Did I see the eclipse yesterday? I only saw a little bit. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it, it didn't work. Oh, I can use sandal bead, maybe. We'll wait for Sandal Pete to come back. Yeah, I only saw like a few seconds of the eclipse, unfortunately. Wait for it. Sandal Pete, Sandal, Sandal Pete, Sandal Pete, Sandal, Sandal Pete. Get ready. Fire! Got it. All right, head back. All right, let's turn. Let's turn her into a fruit snack. Oh, let's turn All Bethika. Right, All right. Oh, we also got a crapple too. Wow. Okay. Cool. Bam. Bam! Now, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We should use uh, Crapple instead. Crapple. Huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at her nose! Frick, I need to change that because that looks stupid. Instabug, definitely. There we go. 
Wait, Frider. Oh my god, look at her horn. Oh, frick. Um, that looks gross. Um... There we go. Now my girl is styling. Look at her. Boom, girl. <laughs> this is perfect. Thanks, bestie. Here's the plan. Snorpy basically can't see without his glasses. And I know he cleans them every day at five. So we'll approach him then. And if I'm green and I say bro a lot, he'll think I'm Chandlo. <laughs> obviously, Snorpy isn't going to keep Chandlo's secrets from himself. This plan is perfect. <laughs> you know it, bestie. Snorpy isn't going to know what hit him. Let's hang out until it's time. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, Snorp Dog. Do you know I like ask you something? Chandlo, is that you? I can't see. Let me get my glasses. Oh, uh, there's no time, bro. This is important. <laughs> oh, uh, well, all right then. What is it? Bro, you remember that deep, dark secret we were talking about? You know, the really super secret one? Oh, ah. Uh, that, yes. I suppose it is time we talked about it. Chandlo, it's hard for me to know what you're thinking, and I've been afraid of talking about it for so long, but the truth is, Chandlo, I, I oh, love you with oh, every fiber oh, of my heart. Oh. <laughs> That's not a secret to anybody. Bethika, what did you get here? How dare you intrude on our private <laughs> moment? Uh, bro, she just ran off, dog. Like, I'm gonna go chase her, bro. Hello? <laughs> Chandlo? Anybody? <laughs> hey, Storfy, how's it going? Rest assured, chum, I have my eye on Floofty. Good day to you. <gasps> Did it work? <laughs> Nothing like a campfire. Did it work? Hey there, how's it going? Chandlo buried his dirt so deep, not even Snorpy knows about it. Or maybe he's actually good? I've spent my whole career looking into the good ones and finding out who they Is really are. Is she like are. a former journalist and or like, something? I'm always the one who suffers for telling the truth. Every friend I ever had dropped me as soon as I told them something they didn't want to hear. And it's no different here. The only upside to being stuck on this island. At least I have bug snacks to keep me company. That's not true. I don't have any secrets. Everyone knows I'm a simp. <laughs> what about me? I don't know. I like you because we're similar. I'm a Leo like that. No! Can no! I really trust no! You? There's plenty of time to find out, but I'd probably be a lot happier if I didn't know. No! No, she's an astrology girl! Oh, God, no! Befica, you're breaking my heart! Oh. Oh my god, I'm just like a Leo. Oh my god, are you like a Sagittarius? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, bestie. Sorry for wrapping you up in all my drama. I know it doesn't make up for everything, but I want you to have my journal. I think if I could trust anybody with it, it would be... Oh my... <sighs> Girl, you are a Leo and I love you for that. No, no, this should be, this should be close to my heart. Yeah, the trophy looks weird. Um, I put baby mayor there. Oh my. She gave me her journal because she trusts me. I'm gonna read it. Let me read it.
what can I say? Now I'm into astrology. You know, I'm a Sagittarius and like, you know, Sagittarius, they don't get it. They don't get along with Scorpios. So you just like stay away from me. <laughs> All right, here you go. Intriguing. Turn into a giant fruit. Oh, frick. That's not what I meant. They just random. Oh, I can randomize now? That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, but let's stick with that for now. Fruity. Oh, I can only transform the things that have already been transformed. All right, I'm gonna have to go catch a bunch of uh, wee melons. I just need to catch a bunch of wee melons then. Sandopee, 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 sandopee. Hey, look, a pinkle. Hey, wee melons. That should be enough, I think. She's a Leo like that. I'll always be here for you, Bethica. Even if you uncover this, my secret homework folder. Where'd you go? Oh, she actually goes to sleep? Huh, who would've thought? I should take a sleep. I'll sleep in Lizbert's. Where is she? She better not still be sleeping. Oh, there she is. What? The only Chadlow secret is his insecurity. Fair enough. He's insecure because he wants to be strong for Snorpy. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. We Unbelievable. <clears throat> oh, look, it's the seeds for the horns. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Intriguing. Very good. You're actually being useful. I have a few more preparations to make. Experiment will begin in 24 hours. She's about to die. I borrowed one of my brother's Patchet and Grumpinati traps and made some modifications. Wait, that's an actual Once pizza the cutter. Once activated, snacks will flow into my open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. What the frick? She is actually going to cut herself open. I don't. That's what the experiment is for. I need you to load the funnel at the back, and then we can begin. <laughs> Oh my god. You put a stop to this nonsense right now. Snorpington. <gasps> Snorpy. You to sabotage Thank my career again. Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life. Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine and oh, I will goodness. have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Flutie. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. 
I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. Yo, don't do my boy See, like that. This is why nobody no, 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 wants no, 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 no. to help you. Lufty. Lufty. Hi. Um, this is awkward. Hey. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. I like how the strawberry looks like a mustache. <laughs> I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snoopy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose <laughs> patience. And I give up on understanding. And perhaps that... Is cowardice on my part. There we go. There we go. Are we gonna? Are we gonna get a sibling makeup? Right? Are we gonna get a hug and like? I'm sorry, big sis. I'm sorry, little bro. I, I don't know who's older or younger. <laughs> but I always think that the um that the sister is older just because my sister is older than me. My experiment would have worked. That said, I have realized that I have often been harsh with you in a way that is unproductive. As an apology, here is a jar of snack specimens for your private research. Flufty. Um, thanks. <laughs> okay, I think we've done all the side quests for now. We've done all the interviews. Let's go to the desert to pick she the Shelda up. Zelda. Okay, she wants me to break up a uh, praying picantis. And in order to do that, I'm going to need a sodi. Or I can just lure him away. He likes cheese sauce. Chase me, chase me. Sodi, Sodi, wake up! Uh, yes, yes, he's about to break up, he's about to break up! I'll take the Sodi, though. You guys ready for soggy burritos? Oh, we got a cheese poof. We got an inch wrap. Alright, well, we broke up the Picantis. Hello, Shelda. I have unlocked the obstacle. Snack of temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. Oh? Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this Rasby to one's side. To one's side? Wait. From the... Oh, frick. <laughs> okay, we need to guide Rasby from the ruins to Shielda. Okay, so the Rasby's down here. Okay. Oh, frick. Right, first, we have to take out those inch wraps. I think they like hot sauce? No, maybe cheese sauce. Oopsies. Over there. That's right, that's right. Run, 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 run. Bam. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so next we need to guide it back to her. How do we do that? So we can go here. Then we go down here, I think. Can we guide him up here like that? We can. Okay. 
Shall we get going? Okay. What does this guy like? Okay. Let's see. Black Rasby. He likes chocolate. Okay, let's go get some chocolate. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Black Rasby, over here. Over here. That's right. That's right. Over this way. Lucky for me, Rasby isn't strong enough to push me into the water. Nice. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. She's back. See, that wasn't so bad. I got you a raspberry from the darkness. Oh, what once was lost now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sandscape. So it is that Shelter survives. What? Uh, 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 why did I do any of that? <laughs> it was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers. Why are they all so dumb? Why are they all so stupid? Okay, Rasby. I need to catch you right now. I need to donate this. Rasby. Rasby. Floofty is smart. Floofty is smart, but also really dumb. Floofty literally tried to cut her head off. Come on. <laughs> hey, pizza man. What are you looking at? You're pizza man. Hey, black Rasby. Bam. Hey, sushi. Ooh, what's shaking, baby? In return from the wastes, one overflows with gratitude to find to you who finds the lost. May this herbaceous token bring you peace of mind, clarity, and a better overall smell. Hanging planter. Alright, what do we got now? Nothing particular. Alright, let's go. Where is Shilda? Shelda? What's her name? She probably lives outside because she's crazy. Hello, Shilda. Maybe she lives up in the boat. Nope. Hello, Shilda. Bramble's barn. Oh, there she is. Oh, hello. Oh, Shelda's back. Wiggle and Bramble are gonna be so stoked. Ah, oh, yes, Swan has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is. One would really like to 
lie down. Do you even have a house here? Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, shell dog. Ah, yes, uh, wisdom. Um, the strength you seek cannot be found within toxins. For the truest strength is the will to resist. Whoa, if this I isn't a game that I is criticizing cults, snacks. I don't know what it is, right? They look toxic. I won't eat them. <laughs> no, one is the, not the, the poison. You. The 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 the, 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 the advice is guidance. don't eat poisonous things. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'll bring the others too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. Oh. You enjoying yourself? When one asks questions, one may receive answers. Her teeth are asymmetrical. All right, talk to me. Who are you? One is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. You know, you can just be normal. <laughs> <gasps> a calling felt in the soul. Distant voices say they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. She literally got here on, on a raffle. <laughs> Can I just go home? A, a raffle is a metaphor. Uh, but yes. What are your thoughts on bugs? The toxin. The mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. One feels them crawling around. Us, beneath us, inside us. Yeah, that's because you guys don't cook things. So who's mom anyway? Mother Nature, the yeah, mother. she doesn't like bug snacks. She, the purest light from whom all life flows. And why'd you leave town? One cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet lessons unlearned. The cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by example. So it was. One got very, very lost. Wait, 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 wait. So she was literally out there for like a year starving because she didn't have a map. Everyone here is dumb. Huntress is gone from us, strayed from the mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. It's a good thing I've never, I haven't eaten them. Well, I've eaten one, but I spit it out because I was allergic, apparently. A doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes. The sky splits. Look not upon it. Move not an inch or be swallowed by the queen of venom. Or so I heard. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go now. Bye. <laughs> Ever are more questions asked, seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. Yes, all A seeing leader. May answers be found in its mystery. It asked you aren't a fraud, aren't you? Dang it! I did I miss that? Oh well. Oh well. Oh. You who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence, 
are lost. But one will guide you to the true path. Behold, the box of purity. What is this? Those box lights placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. So it's a killing machine? Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. Uh. Yum. Uh, okay. We melon. Yum. A wise choice was made. So it is. The light that shines within darkness shines brightest over all. Meditate on this and return one day hence. Um, what did, did, did we, so, so what did we accomplish? Bug snacks to purify? So long! Alright, well, let's see what happens when we take one day of sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Hey there, how's it going? So, how 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 is the bug snack? So it is. The toxins are no more. Okay. Wait a second! Look at her leg. Ate the bug snacks. <laughs> she really is a fraud. One is pure. <laughs> She's such One a would fraud. never be tempted by such. And now I'm glad I didn't ask because this is we discovered it. In meditation every day for six hours, repeating the mantra. Don't think about bug snacks. Don't think about bug snacks. Don't think about bug snacks. And so it is. One never thinks about bug snacks. Clearly. Now what? Ever the sun rises, ever are more toxins left to be purified. In dreams each night, one sees inch wraps, cheeses, and peel bugs. This vision must be the will of the mother. So it is. You she just wants a burrito. <laughs> box of purity. You've got to be kidding. What's a cheeser? Do we have a cheeser? We have a cheese poof. Cheeser. What's a cheeser? You did that for a long time, and now she's starting. Exactly, right? Cheeser, cheeser, cheeser. Cheeser, cheeser, cheeser. I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Sweetie fly. I think it's, it's a cheese puff. Maybe it's just a typo? Alright, well, regardless... We have one more mission to take care of. Let's head to Frosted Peak. Go, go, go. Here we are. Oh, look, you can see my shadow. So I figured it out. Okay. Oh my grump, where'd you find this? Good work. Oh, was her writing always this sloppy? It's not Dr. Beth. <laughs> Still. Huh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Oh, thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. Uh, you don't need to do this alone. Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. 
So okay. good. Good. Okay. So which ones does she want? She wants three bug snatchers. Oops. Oh here. That's a flutter jam. Scoopy. Chippy. Alright, so flutter jam's easy. Doodler is Sodi is probably easy and chilly nilly uh, Sodi and maybe Stoodler. Anyway, Flutter Jam is very easy. Flutter Jam, Flutter Jam. Mountain Sodi. There is Stoodler. Stoodler likes hot sauce, I think. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Over here. Come on. Got him. So we got Stoodler. We need Flutter Jam and who else? Flutter Jam. And oh, for, oh, Mount Sodi. We need Mount Sodi as well. Hi, right, Mount Sodi. All right, let's go. Perfect. Mount Sodi, and then finally Flutter Jams. There's a Flutter Jam. What do they like? They like peanut butter. We're gonna have to get higher to get catch that guy. Right, let's go this way. Hey, look, another Stoodler. All right, here we are. All right, so they like peanut butter. Oh wait, wait, I think I can just shoot peanut butter at them and then they'll they'll go down. Whoops. Yeah. Bam, baby. Easy. All right, let's go. Whee! Ow. Whee! Oh, God. <laughs> Oops. Let's go, let's go. Ah, this way. Okay, so Flutter Jam is over here. Okay, first one. Eggabel seems to have lit. Oh, does she? Maybe. I didn't really notice. This one is Sodi. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry, uh, Mount Sodi. And then, what's the last one? Uh, Stoodler? Is this Stoodler? Chippy. That's Stoodler. Bam. You're okay. All right. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. Look at she has a cherry and ice cream. I got the rest of the snacks. And a banana. She's been eating a uh, the banana split. <laughs> okay. Next she says. Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. Yeah, but you need three. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. I mean, you just need enough weight. Well, it's that or go home. Oh, what would Lisbert do? 
Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. For some reason. <laughs> Watch your step on the way back down, okay? <laughs> Ask Philbo for help. Philbo, I knew he'd be useful! My boy! Philbo, let's go! Hey, Tripany, what's going on? Nice How's to it going? see ya. I need your help. You do? With what? Oh, there's a mystery that needs solving. <gasps> really? Oh, buddy. Say no more. I am there. I'll explain to you on the way. Let's go, Philbo. <laughs> he comes back. Oh, this is a, God, Philbo. This I'm is, so this sorry. He's going to die. Uh, a lot of steps. Oh, crump. I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no. I'm fine, really. Oh, hey. You look just like my friend Agabel. He said friend, see? Agabel! Oh, it's really you! Oh, you're here, alive, and not dead! Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh, are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Let's go! Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> Boo! Hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. The point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. Oh. Whoa, what is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lizbrook get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Maybe because two people. she has to be. I looked everywhere Maybe else. two people helped her and well, trapped her. It definitely looks important. How do we or maybe she has shadow clones. Get in. Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. Okay. So that's... All right. First she stepped on that one, then that one. That's right. So left, right, center. This is it. Ready? One. Two. Three. Come on! Come on! Yeah, baby! Oh, oh god. Oh, no, baby. No, baby. Oh, Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabel. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and... No! I'll try it again! You two are going home! You, Agabel, you can't. I want to find Lizbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. And I'm a pretzel. Yes, I do. I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone. W what do you mean? I was being stupid. And I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit and, and I was going to fall, but Liz saved me. Like she always does. She got swept away and then the ground opened beneath her and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabel. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please, just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> you know, when I was looking for Lizbert, I got really hungry. And I became this monstrosity. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry, I could barely move. <laughs> that's when we met, buddy. Philbo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, you know, I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lizbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> All right. I get it. You coming I back? I some time to think. I... Still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then 
We'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe. Wait. Phil Philbo, are you going to be okay on the walk home? Philbo, Philbo. Hey, um Phil Philbo. Oh god, he's going to die. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> we'll stay in the igloo for the night. Is she back in the snack work now? Well, rest in peace, Philbo. <laughs> nice to see ya. That was very sweet. Uh, thanks for the help. Thanks for giving me the space I need and, well, for finding me. Even though I'm up here, still thinking of you all. Um, sometimes I look at this picture to brighten up my day. I hope it does the same for you. Egabel. Sent be a Philbo! Hi, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> You've even got Floofty and Sheldon to come back! It's great seeing Snacksburg so full of life again! You better believe I'm planning another big celebration! So how do I interview... What's her name? I guess not yet. Alright, but should we end this stream with a freaking massive party, baby? <laughs> Cromdo, how are you? Let me just activate these uh these uh side quests. Snorpy. Let's see, we got Snorpy, Triffany, and uh yeah, we'll do Triffany, Snorpy, and then we'll have a party. Oh my god, look at her. What the Greetings. frick? Greetings. I suppose so. There's only one more place mentioned in Grandma's journal. Let's go. We've got to head for the Frosted Peak. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost caught up to Grandma Lotta blog. Grandma writes about the view from the top. Means we ought to start climbing, don't you think? Don't you know? Oh, frick. We gotta go up. Oh, no. I think there's a skeleton up there. Oh, no. She might find her grandma dead. Up, up, up. Oh no, Tiffany. Or Triffany. Triffy, we're all here for you. Triffy, you coming? Triffany? 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 Riffany! For some reason, this reminds me of that um, Mario 64 where you race Koopa the Quick. Oh, there you are. She's just slow. For some reason, it just reminds me of racing Koopa the Quick. <laughs> yeah, does it? I have great memories of that. Hey. This is it, all right. This camp had to be one of Grandma's. And I'm thinking that could be her right there. It'd be a fitting way to go, staring out over the land she loved exploring. And what's this snack? Maybe a last meal or... Wait. What's wrong? Even when I was a kid, Grandma didn't have too many teeth. <laughs> this can't be her. Unless... Ooh, unless I'm remembering wrong. Or she got spares? It's been so long, I suppose I can't say. If I want to be dead sure, I need an expert. Um, maybe Floofy D? Because Floofy knows all about teeth regeneration, right? Alright, well, we gotta head back. 
God, fast travel is so much more convenient. I used to actually just walk. I didn't realize there was fast traveling. Oh, Beth, what's up? Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, cutie. Look at her. She's giving me the bedroom eyes. I'm sorry to say, Professor Lotterblog, but you and this charming specimen are not related. Oh, well, that's all right then. Thanks for Hey, we'll help. find him next time. May I keep it? I could use a few more skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't really matter now anyway. Aww. You okay? I'm not doing too good. I'll never know what happened to my grandma. The end of Bronica Lotta blog is a big blank spot in history. There's nothing left of her here. Just like everybody else who came to this island. A place where you go to be forgotten. Hey, a well... place where I'll be forgotten. But, you know, maybe at least the Buck Snacks will remember me. Hey, hey, don't feel like that. I know that things didn't go so good with my grandma and all, but I want to let you know how grateful I am that you were with me, eh? It's times like these I laugh in the face of death, and I want you to do the same. Here's a cool skull with such. <laughs> there we go, see? Sometimes you just gotta think on the positive side. Right, the last thing we need is... Snorper. Snorpy! Snorpy! Well met. Did you know that Chandlo loves you? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm afraid we went after the wrong target. The mountain is now more active than ever. But the good news is I've isolated the source of this seismic activity. The bad news is it's on the frosted peak. And this time I've no idea what it might be. Be on your toes, chum. This one could get messy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Travel to frosted peak. Come on. Let's go. See you around. All right, let's just go to Fr Frosted Peak. You're almost there, chum. You should see some flares along the way. Though you may need help lighting them. Oh, hey. How's it going? Why are you here? <laughs> it's the last place the Grumpanati would expect me to be. Ah, that clever! End. I'd hate to make you do such a dangerous mission alone. All right, here we go. Here we go. Daddy cake legs? Excuse me? Why is there a candle right there? Are source of the seismic readings but where is the cause hmm it's still a little dark in here perhaps you should light that suspicious candle oh no okay let's do this Oh god, it's a spider! He's secret weapon! Quickly turn and dispose of this devious dessert before it brings the mountain down on us! It's a birthday cake! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. We can confuse it. Close it. Over here, over here, buddy. I'm right here. Come on. Come get me. Did it work? Did it work? Oh, I know. Maybe we have to light his candles. Ah, pain. That's got to be it. I'm going to light the candles. Frick. 
How do I hold it to keep it still? Oh, like that, of course! There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Dang it. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Snarpy, you gonna help me out? Oh, I see it. There's the candle. I'm on fire! Here, attack! Attack while I'm on fire! Attack while I'm on fire! Got him! Blast it! That clever cake has buggered off! Well, not to worry. According to my readings, it's still around here somewhere. We'd better go find it and finish the job. Wait, wait, what about the little guys? Recently cut from the cake, they seem to be seeking out their... All right, technically, it is their birthday. Oh god, they're going this way! You want to eat these guys? <laughs> they actually look kind of delicious. But see, you're eating the toxins! Ah, oh, but it is! No escape now, you cunning confection! Here, let's get these out of the way. Oh, God, all oh, pain. Yes, let's just set them on fire. Set the set the kids on fire. Ah, I'm on fire! Hide behind you. I can't catch the cakes! God dang it, this is so hard! Come on, come on. Got him! 
How do we catch these guys? We've almost got it. How do we catch them? Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Look at them. They're adorable. Oh, I know, I know. We'll catch them using this. I'll take you. Where are they going? That way, obviously. Dang it. Dang it. Ah, there he is. Hold on. I want to I want to take out all the baby cake legs first. No. Dang it. There. Oh, dang it. Okay, it's okay. Uh I want to catch some baby cake legs. Dang it! There, that should catch him. Mine. Alright. Look at all the cake! Yeah, dang, look at that cake! Alright, good enough. Let's do this. Let's finish this. They seem to love their dad. Well, they'll love their adopted dad, who is me. Uh-oh. Hold still. Oh god, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, hold still. Ah, ah, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, okay, he's, he's, he's lit, he's lit. Brilliant work. This seismic activity oh, has ceased oh, for the moment. Oh. <laughs> no, for a secret wow. weapon, that was a little lacking in subtlety. That was close. Who could the Grumpanati think they're fooling? I mean, honestly, what natural evolutionary process could possibly result in a birthday cake? I don't know, you tell me. But no matter. Feed me the cake legs and we can leave this dreadful mountain. Okay. BAM, BABY! Daddy cake legs. Alright, let's eat. Alright, let's load up on cake. He likes his sweets, that's for sure. <laughs> Bam! Look at him! A happy birthday indeed. Thanks to you, we saved the island. Now let's hurry back to Snacksburg post Just like Floofty. My paws are about to freeze off. Woo! We did it. All right. Finally... Let's head back to Snacksburg and have ourselves a party. Snorpy, what the grump? You climbed up the mountain without me? Grumping, why? I, I, I wish I could tell you. Then tell me. I'm done playing games, dog. You could have died up there. And then what would I do, huh? I'm sorry, Chandlo. That was not cool. I gotta chill out. You figure out when you're ready to talk to me. Oh. I, I know he hates being in the dark, and I hate leaving him there. I want to tell him everything, but I don't want to lose him. If he knows he'll be a target? Is that really it? No. No. I, the truth is, I don't think he'll believe me. Now it seems like I might lose him whether I tell him or not. 
Oh. So congratulations, Grumpy Naughty. You win. Oh. It's Chadlow. He loves you. <laughs> I want to thank you for helping me conquer the mountain, chum. I'm still doing my best to make it up to Chadlow. Meanwhile, you should find a radio with this letter. If you want to report on the movements of the Grumpinati or anything Chadlow has said, give me a call. Snorpy. Alright. There's only one thing left to do. Sleep until noon. And then... Is she going to the bathroom? Like clockwork. Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. We gotta celebrate big time. This party's gonna change everything, buddy. Are you sure you're ready? Everyone's gonna die. Oh! Once you start the party, you won't be able to catch- What?! I'm not ready yet! Okay. Well, you know what? I think we defeated um, Big Daddy, so we will save the party for next time. So we will end our stream here for today. I appreciate the warning game. <laughs> I need to 100% the game. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm thinking about food. I'm always thinking about food at the very end, and now I'm really thinking about food. Thanks to the stupid bug snap. Ah! I'm also thinking about what I need to finish up for work stuff. It's not that much, but it's just annoying that I have to think about. This is why you love books now. <laughs> okay, let's see what I should um, eat. Food. Yes, whenever I try to figure out what I want to eat, I literally just Google food and look at the map. <laughs> I mean, there's a Denny's close by. <laughs> I went to this Mexican place the other day, and it was good. But you know how, like, after you eat Mexican food, you're just really, really full? <laughs> I have a friend who's from Mexico. He says, like, he says, like, good Mexican food. He, he always said, like, good Mexican food kind of just flows together. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he meant, but, you know, like... Um, like he was talking about like, uh, I, I was talking about like chili rellenos and he's like, okay, when you serve chili rellenos, you usually have this and you have that on the side and it kind of just all like flows together. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I kind of see. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, Kioma, you're familiar with Mexican food. Do you, do you understand what he's saying? <laughs> you know what it means? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Sli have I even said hi to Slippery today? I think you just appeared for that one comment. So hello, Slippery. Although you've probably been lurking. Yeah, but I mean, my problem with uh, Mexican food is that after I eat it, I'm always very full and I don't want to move. <laughs> That is my problem with Mexican food. <laughs> Which is, I mean, to be fair, that's not a terrible problem to have. <laughs> that's how it is.
Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have fake Mexican food. Um, what is it? There's a lot of, I think we call it Tex-Mex. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Tex-Mex. Uh, is Tex-Mex fake Mexican food? I don't know. Is it, does it count as fake or is it just like, I don't know. Tex-Mex. So, um, yeah, Texas style Mexican food. Because there's a lot of, uh, what is it? Um, there were a lot of Mexican immigrants in Texas. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like Mexican food, but created with more American ingredients because you can't find all the ingredients in Mexico. <laughs> that, that, that type of thing. I think that's how it is. I'm always self-conscious talking about Mexican food, to tell you the truth. Because I told you, my friend, like, uh, what is it? <laughs> my friend is Mexican. And he really knows, um, he really knows Mexican food. And so whenever we go to eat tacos, I'm like, oh man, this is really good. And then he's like, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> I'm always very self-conscious when I talk about Mexican food. Like Mexican food specific. No, also Indian food because I do have a friend who's from India. <laughs> yeah, so like those are the two qu like, foods or cuisines or um, what uh, styles of cooking I'm always very self-conscious about. I'm like, oh man, these carne asada tacos are really good. He's like. I mean, it's kind of carne asada. It's not. It's not really carne asada. I was like, ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> yeah, I was uh having lengua, lengua, tacos. Lengua is that's 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 beef tongue, right? Lengua. Yeah. You bet they understand. <laughs> yeah, uh, lengua tacos were really good. Like, I told you guys, one of my favorite Mexican places, which was actually certified by my friend, so you know it's good. Um, they had lengua tacos, and then they started charging, like, 25 cents extra because they were so popular. So I was like, oh, I mean, I get it. Beef tongue is probably going to be more expensive, but... Ah, dang it! <laughs> I was so disappointed because like they were like they were like small tacos like they're were, they were, like street tacos um so it's like you would get like four of them <laughs> so that's an extra dollar you get, they gotta get popular <laughs> fair enough although let's see um and then what is a what is it napol napoles i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly cactus Cactus tacos. I actually really like those. Um, I I don't actually know anyone who likes the cactus except for me and my friend who's Mexican. Like every time I've taken someone to eat cactus tacos, they're like, what the frick? It's all slimy. <laughs> yeah, but have you guys seen how they cook cactus? I mean, some of you probably have, but like you gotta like soak it for like an hour just so that you can move around. And then, like, you have to, like, <laughs> it's actually crazy. Yeah, cactus can be eaten. Even the fruits can be eaten. I don't, I've never tried the fruits. But yeah, cactus tacos are really good. Although there's no meat in them. So it's just like, it's like if you get them, you also have to make sure you get tacos with like actual substance because vegetarian just doesn't fill you up. <laughs> I've tried a vegetarian diet before. I, I It wasn't for me. <laughs> Yeah, but 
okay, now we're now you now we're on the topic of Mexican food. I've already talked about chili rellenos. Um, what else? Um, what is um, what is that thing where it's kind of like wrapped up in like and there's kind of like a corn thing on the outside? It's like it's kind of like wrapped up in like a paper and then it's like. There's like a corn, it, it's kind of like softish. It's like, and it's like, it's like cornmeal on the outside. What do you, what do you call that? No, not enchiladas. Enchiladas are not. Elote, is it that it? No, no, it's not actual corn. It's like cornmeal on the outside. Let me see. Is it, is it cornmeal? A list of Mexican food. <laughs> list of Mexican dishes. No, not flautas. Not sopes. Tamales! Tamales! I freaking love tamales. I don't know anywhere that actually serves them around here, unfortunately. But freaking, I freaking love tamales. Tamales? Is it tamales? <laughs> Yeah, like it. I, I, I don't. It's not wrapped in actual paper. What is it? Right. Oh, it's wrapped in. Oh, it's actually wrapped in the corn thing. Oh. oh <laughs> no wonder you were confused. Like, yeah, you wrap it in newspaper. And <laughs> yeah, that's very similar to um to uh what is it called? Um, that's very similar to a lot of um different uh dishes in um. Um, in uh, in Asia, in China, they have a rice dish where they wrap it in, um, uh, I think, grape leaves, either grape leaves or lotus leaves. And then there are some dishes in Japan where you steam fish in like banana or something like. There's like there are lots of interesting dishes where you use the leaf in order to like cook it. I think that's really cool. The wrapping can be can be discarded prior to eat. <laughs> the wrapper can be discarded. <laughs> what? So you just eat the wrapper? Sometimes you're like, you can discard it. You don't have to. I did, can you actually eat the wrapper or do you just like use it to like to like as like a like a way of holding it because I always imagine like you know you would hold it like it, it's kind of like it's kind of like uh it when how you're eating a banana right you eat a banana because you use the peel right you imagine spring rolls but instead it's covered in leaves I mean they're probably there there are like um what is it in Spain in Spain they have a, a grape wraps right these these uh Spanish grape leaf. Stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, in, in Spain, they actually have stuffed grape leaves. I hate talking about food with you guys because I'm talking about these amazing dishes and then I'm going to go out and get a hot dog. <laughs> How de kiero? Kiero? Yo is jo. It's not jo, right? How de kiero? Oh! Oh, yo, yo, it's the cheesy bread! Chili dogs are pretty good. They are good. You know what? Fair enough. Freaking fair enough. You know, uh, one of my favorite um, places to eat is actually a hot dog stand, and my family would never eat there because they're always like, they're they're. <sighs> my family's not rich enough to be called rich, but they're on the cusp of not being poor enough to say we're elites. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so they're on that just on that boundary where they're like, they're like, oh, we don't eat from food stalls, and I'm like, what the heck? Why the heck not? It's delicious. <laughs> It's mostly my sister and my grandma, though. They're the ones who are like super, like, oh, we only eat fine dining. And, and me and my dad are out here, like, eating hot dogs from a hot dog stand or hot dogs from Costco. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Brazilian cheese bread. <laughs> oh, man. I've had this once before at a Brazilian restaurant. It was so freaking good. Unfortunately, the Brazilian restaurant closed down. It was really good. Like, it actually got like five stars and stuff. There just wasn't enough interest in Brazilian food where I used to live. It's like, it was a, it was a, it was partially a college town. So nobody would pay extra for authentic food. So it's like, you would get these really nice Italian restaurants and they couldn't survive because they were getting beaten by like Olive Garden. It, it, that's just, that's just how unfortunately it is in college towns. Pretty much like cheap cheap inexpensive things are the ones that survive so but it was really good like you know people would like pe like Bra people from brazil would oh wait, the metric is if the people from that country go to eat there it's good <laughs> so it's like i saw a lot of brazilian people there i was like okay so this is good <laughs> yeah and it was really good they just couldn't afford the rent because it was in like it was it was like in prime location in um los angeles which the rent is super high and i think they no i think don't think they re, re i don't think they closed they relocated so i'll have to look for them again but they relocated to a let's just say a not so nice neighborhood but it's also not a college town so it's more like in real la people and more real la people would go to eat that than college kids so i don't want to say it's not a not a nice location but you guys know like in any big city there are like the um super like fancy areas like touristy areas and then there's the real areas you know and college towns are generally more like touristy stuff yeah but Dang it. Now I have all this good food in my hand. I'm probably going to get an In-N-Out. I mean, In-N-Out's not bad, but it's not it's not Brazilian cheesy bread. <laughs> oh, there's been this uh, dumpling place that's opened up just recently, and it's really good. I've, I've had it like every day for like a week. I'm going to I'm not going to I'm not going to go there anymore, uh, at least not for the rest of the week, because I need to eat something different. <laughs> my kitchen is clean, by the way. Well, it was clean, then they had to replace the angle stops on the sink, but it's going to be clean again. Uh, yeah, my kitchen is finally free of crap. It honestly it was just all like the old trash that I haven't thrown away, like random containers that I've kept because like I thought, oh, it'll be efficient if I keep if I wash my takeout stuff and then it just ends up sitting there. Uh, so it's like, you know, and like the less the more cluttered things are, the less you want to cook. And it's like, oh, I have the, um, I have like these four different saucepans that I don't want to put in my, um, in my drawer. So I just leave them there and they're just gathering dust. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start, you know, cleaning everything and making sure like I can cook again. So yeah, you guys are going to see lots of, um, beef and bell peppers stir fries. <laughs> I make crappy stir fry because I don't have a wok. <laughs> I use, I use a, what is it? I use a frying pan. <laughs> My dad makes fun of me all the time. <laughs> he sees me stir frying in a frying pan. <laughs> He's always like, what the heck is that? <laughs> hey, I'm not just on the cusp of not so poor that I could just not eat at the hot dog stand. <laughs> Do you know what um the area I live in? Do you know what it has a lot of? It has a lot of fast food Mexican places, which is kind of annoying because like do you guys know what I mean? Like places like Baja Fresh and La Salsa and Rubio's, th those type of places, and they're all together. So it's like they're all essentially serving the identical same things, and there's like like 
10 of them popping up. So it's like... <laughs> It's like, if we could have one less of those and maybe like something else, that would be great. But it's like, one of the reasons why it's like so difficult to get like Mexican food around here is because there's like this rise of like hip, fast Mexican food <laughs> where I live. Because it's all suburban families. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going, Celestial? We're talking about Mexican food. Because around here where I live, it's a lot of like suburban families. And so it's a lot of like, oh, fun, ca fast, casual family restaurant where like things like Chipotle, right? Where it's like, oh, the family goes out and has like a quick meal together. It's, it's a lot of that type of thing. You won't get like, you don't get as many like actual restaurants where like, you know, would be like, like kind of like a restaurant and bar type of thing. And you don't get as many, um, like authentic places because you know families aren't looking for that they're looking for places they can just sit down and have a quick meal with their kids so <laughs> yeah so the places i that are near me are pizzerias to be fair their pizza is very good um like a buffalo wild wings we got like a bur like a few burger joints like an islands and we've got like um a bunch of fast mexican places and like there are only a few places where you can actually sit down and just relax which are the places i go to and unfortunately they're priced through the freaking roof because ugh, san diego's getting a mess to for for living nowadays Sa do you guys know san diego is now the most expensive city to live in in america i literally moved out of la to get out of that and now we're in san diego I literally left LA for that specific reason, and now it's in San Diego. <laughs> Welcome to California. Why am I here? Am I gonna move from San Diego? I can't move from San Diego, at least not at the moment, because like uh, I work here. But depending on how my um, how my um, work starts panning out, like if I could do more remote work, if I start doing more voice acting, which allows me to live wherever I want, maybe. <coughs> I don't want to pay freaking ten percent, twelve percent, fifteen percent like taxes. God, like around here. Like, they, 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 like, triple tax everything. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's, it's not fun. But, you know, you learn to get by. <laughs> You know, especially, you know what's really difficult for guys in the entertainment industry? You know, not everyone in the entertainment industry is rich. In fact, very few people in the entertainment industry are rich. Most of them are just normal people getting by, but they have to live in LA. So it's always a struggle for them, I can imagine. You know, because they're effectively doing a day job, right? Video editing is kind of a day job. Um, um, things like, you know, um, audio production and um like um sound production foley work um a lot of those things are kind of day jobs right um yeah <coughs> so you know i kind of feel for them because they have to live in some of the most expensive parts of la it's like at the very least i have the luxury of you know working online every once in a while Anyway, I better get going. I need to figure out what I want to eat. Um, hopefully something actually reasonable. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I, I like where I live. I, I complain a lot, but it's easier to complain than to talk about good points. There are a lot of good points. Um, yeah, so. I 
better get going. Bayonara. Praise Atua! <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. If you have any quests for me, I will see you all next time.